Rocket Punch Army. What's up everyone, it's Chachi Power here with uh, Rocket Punch Army. Uh, I've been doing a little bit of spring cleaning and I've come across a few things that I'm thinking of letting go. And uh, this happens to be one of them. Uh, have no fear, I do have uh, several of these, uh, weathered version, black version, another regular version. So, um, but anyway, I came across it and I decided to show you guys because I don't think I've ever done a review on this. So, um, yeah, now's a good time. So this is the Aoshima Shin Getter 2. It's part of the Shinseiki Goken line. Uh, as you can see, the robot's off to the right here. You got, uh, I believe, a snapshot of the anime behind it. It looks very anime looking back there. Uh, if we turn it around we will see on the side here the robot again the actual toy and on the back also. Now off to the left you'll see how much die cast this have. Everything you see there in gold is the die cast content. So look at how little the black parts are and look at how much gold there is. Uh, the actual metal is not gold that's just highlighting the die cast. Now you'll see um, it does have clear parts uh, it does, uh, it says posing, um, I guess they're just trying to show you how you can pose it. Um, now it ha does have a drill missile feature. Um, it does not shoot the die cast one, I'm going to show you that uh, later on. It does not shoot the die cast one, so don't get too excited. It has a plastic version which you can shoot out. And uh, that just demonstrates it's the exchange of arms uh, to uh, be able to do that feature. So let's go ahead, let's open this up and check it out. Now, I'm an 80s child, so almost everything that I grew up with, uh, mostly high-end stuff, electronics, uh, Nintendo, stuff like that, came in styrofoam, including toys. And um, needless to say, I love, love, love styrofoam. If you did not know that about me, you know that now. I love when a heavy die-cast robot comes in a styrofoam tray. And this is not disappoint. Uh, not only is it a tray, it's the entire tray. Uh, some new Chogo Kings, um, they tend to get away with just having the styrofoam surrounding the figure. No, this is the lid and the entire tray, the whole thickness of it. So this thing screams high end. So, having said that, uh, this also comes with a little booklet here, again. It's got the anime uh, drawing here on the front. Uh, Shin Getter 2 here, his name. And if we look inside... It's actually not really a booklet, it's more like a folded page. It's got line art here showing you all the different things you could do, the stand, how to remove the arms, and of course, it's in Japanese, which I can't read. Again, a uh, bunch of other things back here. I really wish I could read Japanese, uh, but yeah, I can't, so let's just put that aside. So yeah, let's take this bad boy out of his tray here and you'll see it's a lot of plastic covering, a lot of uh, styrofoam and just very well laid out. Because he's mostly metal and a lot of that metal concentrates up here and due to the design of his really thin legs he's not the most stable figure. He will stand on his own but if you're going to display him I do recommend using the stand. What's excellent about this stand is it's no flimsy plastic stand. This is die cast. Here's the other base for the actual drill part this is metal now the the actual uh, piece here the rod is plastic but the base of it is solid metal it's really heavy now the reason he needs two stands is because number one he needs to be able to stand without falling over at the slightest movement and he needs a stand for his awesomely heavy uh, drill piece here so you can display it like that. Now it's a little awkward. Um, basically the case of this toy is he's too awesome for his own good. And what I mean by that is like he's just awesome. A lot of metal. Uh, the design is uh, not everybody's cup of tea but it is a, a cool design that, that does grow on you. Believe me. Um, when I purchased this the first time uh, I got it because uh, you know it was at a good price at the time and you know, it was all die cast, so I took a chance, and I ended up loving this thing. Now, what I love even more is the fact that it's it's just a dangerous toy. And what I mean by that, there's lots of sharp parts. Let's put it this way: if you ever, uh, if you have this, 
and it's about to fall, do not grab it. You will cut yourself, you will stab yourself, guaranteed. Okay, look at how sharp, these are like needles, all right? And this is the plastic pieces, it's a hard plastic, all right? But then we're talking about the actual metal pieces, the edge of the drill here, that's a sharp piece, okay? And I'm going to show you something else that's sharp. Let's, uh, well, by the way, he could actually hold a drill up. Uh, it's more right here. Let me show you. He can actually uh, stand on his own. You know, he stands on his own. Fine. All right. But uh, the stand is just in case uh, you display him. But anyway, getting back to the dangerously sharp pieces, everything's sharp. The edge of this, the tip of that, the back here. I mean, take a look at how sharp that is that's like just wanting to just pierce right through my skin and look at this this is die cast feet and look how sharp they are like do I have the guts to just poke myself and make myself bleed for you guys maybe not don't really want to do that um, yeah everything's sharp and speaking of sharp I had mentioned to you guys that he did come with a missile firing feature so he's got a whole spare arm just for that uh, this arm does not have an elbow because of the shooting feature, although it does attach to him. I'm not going to attach it, to, uh, you know, onto the figure. I want to keep this short, but the missile goes right on, and once it's on, you can just fire it like so. And again, the one he does come with is die cast, and this one is plastic, and you'll see that they are painted exactly the same. So no need to worry about one looking different than the other. Now if we turn him around, you'll see he's got these... Uh, rocket booster things which are articulated you can move them back and forth and another thing I want to point out is that um, even though this is not a weathered version uh, it does have a slight airbrushing weathering where it's very faint and it's not going to really pick up on camera I don't think but very faint weathering around the panel lines and also down here I just showed you guys that uh, along the edges of basically every panel line just it looks really nice and around the bottom of his uh, head here very well done loads of die cast so what do we have for articulation we got the head just very basic uh, movement we got the shoulders here uh, ratchets very nice ratchets there we also have the elbows no ratchets this spins around we got the claw that opens up and closes and let's see no waist but you do have hips here and you got knees you got swivels at the knees and then you have the ankles which are just up and down not side to side any angle like that for wide stances just back and forth and the drill here moves like an elbow not too much he's got one more piece of accessory it's not really an accessory it's a little PVC figure. Let me see if I can uh, get them out for you guys. I don't watch the series. I'm not exactly sure who it is, but here he is. I think at some point I did know who this was, but I don't anymore. Uh, so yeah, not too bad. Very nicely detailed. And yeah, that's it, guys. Uh, that's pretty much it for this review. So uh, if you like it, leave comments or whatever. Ask questions or uh, feel free to school me on some of the subject matter this that encompasses this uh, anime while I finish watching it. But uh, that's going to be it. And until next time, guys, bye.